Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Have we got an exclusive for you? It's a first look unseen worldwide. It's a worldwide exclusive, so exclusive that the embargo has only just this second been lifted. It's not been lifted. So how long have we got? One minute. Less than a minute. Well, I'll just intro it and then by the time we get to the end of the intro, boom, big reveal. Yeah? Hello everyone, have we got an exclusive for you? Today is a first look at a brand new product from the comp- am I allowed to say the company? From Wahoo. It is the brand new Element Rome. Yeah. About halfway around the, uh, the the Kitchener Trail, the Red Trail. Halfway? I don't know. I don't think so. About a third of the way. Is that all? Yeah. Oh my lord, this mountain biking is you hard. Said, you said we're going to do an easy hour, Chris. This has been far from easy. The, the problem is, you're too good on this, and I feel like I'm having to step up to try and keep up with um, no. not only a BMXer, but also a really, really fit young lad. No, I think the reason we've been going fast is because they've been trying to bounce the bikes around to see how exactly to see how sturdy this mount is. And so far, there you can see that it's a really nice tight fit. It has got um fit. It has got an additional little bolt that you can screw in underneath to lock it in place if you need to. But you know, I, we've been mountain biking, so yeah, that was that was proper hardcore, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it's not coming off there. We're doing it ain't never drops coming off on the road. Jumping off tree roots and stuff, so if yeah, if it's not comes off here then it's I don't think that bolt's necessarily required. No, take it. It's yours. Yeah? Yeah. See ya. So this is the Rome in all its glory. Um, as you can see, very similar packaging to all the other Wahoo Element products. Open it up, you get your facts, you get your computer. Slide it out. And there you go. So obviously the main feature they want you to look at right there and then is the new map feature you can see. It is coloured, main roads are coloured. Guess that's a lake? I don't know. Would have to have a check. But under that, are you ready? Ah, someone's already taken that off. There's there's no satisfaction in that whatsoever. But there it is in all its glory. Built for the ride. Element Rome is designed for those who view each ride as a new adventure. Powerful smart navigation features have been combined with a crystal clear 2.7 inch colour display and a long-lasting battery. One of the key features that that long-lasting battery, making it easier than ever to stay on course longer and explore farther. So you can see that the Element Rome is built 
to go and get lost. It's it's going to assist you a lot more efficiently than let's say the current version of the of the Bolt is because of that big 2.7 inch color display and the fact that um, it's, it's, it's got free global maps and it's got a 17 hour battery life. It says it right there, 17 hour battery life, which, well, that's massive. That means you can go and get lost for a good, good full day and not have to worry about getting home. You will find a way. Large 2.7 inch color display, like I've just said, makes it easier and clearer to see where you're going, what's around you, and um, I mean, compare that to to that. It's there's a massive difference, and I know that there's a big price difference between the two as well. But this this is this is mega. You've got your coloured planned workout, so the plan the workouts are in colour, so you can see exactly what zones you're in on the element when you're uh, when you're training. Text messages and notifications, live Strava segments, turn by turn navigation when you've set that um, route in. We've got climb data as always. We've got some chocolate just there. I, I tell you one thing, it was nice chocolate, so don't have a go at me for that. And obviously workout data. Large tactile buttons. Now this is one thing that that the world seems to be crying out for nowadays is touchscreen. Everything has to be touchscreen. However, the fact that this is um, has those large tactile buttons, exactly the same as a bolt. So you got the the on-off switch there. You've got the two. Um, Buttons on that side, um, either zooming in or out, or for moving across um, data fields. And then here, root, start, or page. So you can see, flick through those. You can see those LEDs flashing through. So the good thing with the um, the tactile buttons is the fact that it doesn't matter if you've got a big, thick glove on, or it's the middle of winter and it's chucking it down and the screen's all wet. So you don't. When you get to your map and you want to zoom in like this on some. It don't always work if, unless you've got your fingers out. And who wants the fingers out in minus five conditions? So the fact that you know you press that button, you can feel that that button's been pressed. You know you're, you're going through those menus. Again, same with that. You're zooming in and out. You know exactly where you are and how you stand with that. You cannot beat tactile functionality rather than a temperamental touch screen. Swipe right. I mean, what happens if you swipe right by mistake? No, tactile is where it's at. There is a distinct difference in size, slightly wider and longer screen, um, but as you can see here, the, the main silhouette, if you would, of the um, the Wahoo products is you've got the three buttons along the bottom, you've got your LEDs along the top here on the bolt, and you've got them here, as you can see, and then also down the side. So. Screen is a little crisper, it's also using Gorilla Glass as well. Now, this isn't a full review of the product, this is a first look, so just bear in mind, you can see there already, it's in colour. Bear in mind that I'm getting to grips with this as I am recording this, so don't be expecting a full comprehensive review of it. It is just a first look. Um, I like the, the kicker climb on the dude. So first impressions. Yeah, that screen definitely looks, um, it looks sharper, although, same as same as uh, my Bolt, how it's set up, you've got your climb in there, you've got your map, nice, so you can see in, in a lot more detail those, um, those, those A roads, those motorways, those main roads, As you can see right on that that the screen definitely looks crisper it looks better lit from behind I don't think that is lit from behind but that's just the the color of the back of the screen so it stands out a lot more on this compared to the old bolt still a quality computer that I this I I absolutely love this and the more I use it and the more I learn about it and the things I can actually do with it it just poor GPS it just blows my mind how good a computer it is so there you go, that, that's the difference in the map, and that's, from what I can tell with um, what Wahoo and what are trying to do with this, it is trying to develop this side of it, that this roaming aspect where you can find routes a lot easier, you can see routes a lot clearer than you can before. This is great if you're trying to navigate home, if you're following an actual route that you've set yourself, absolutely great for that. However, trying to find roads, 
is a little more is a little more difficult so very similar in the way it um, looks close up but as you get out it all starts to look a bit higgledy piggledy on this it's the best way of describing it really look at that but on this screen you can see how much clearer how much easier it is to to look at that especially when it's zoomed out and think right I want to head here let's get there right let's chuck it on the road bike and take it for a little spin and see link it up to all my um, all my stuff and, and see how we get on with it so this is the mount for the bolt Oosh! and if by magic that's the um, that's the Rome fit in can, can you tell the difference I mean you can it's obviously bigger but it's not it's not that much bigger warming up So obviously this has already been set up to somebody else's phone because Cam has been testing this before me. So um, this has been linked up to his phone. I wonder if I could get his text messages up on this. No, they're not there. Here we go. Brilliant. Page, page. No, let's go into here. Pair phone. Ooh, this is the one. So pair phone. That's it. Then I scan it with this. Bosh. <laughs> Boom. 50%. Cam has been using this. Oh no, 78%. Come on. I like having me. I'm going to have me wattage here. Oh no. A three second watt can go there. Boom, look at that. Then speed, workout, active time, that's ride time, heart rate, we'll put that in in a minute. I'm day grade, everything's perfect there. Perfect. Bosh. Now we need to go back in here and then add some sensors. So, heart rate. So, here's my heart rate monitor on. So, if I hold it close enough here. Save that. Yes. I need to clean this bike. Stages. Save stages power meter. Save. So cadence should come up on that as well. stop real quickly um, one thing I have noticed is obviously here you've got a set of LED lights here and a set of LEDs now normally on the bolt there's only a set of LED lights here and they show up obviously the um, the power or heart rate or speed but it looks like this indicator here I, I'm still not 100% sure on this but I think this indicator here would be the one for power speed heart rate and this one here is a bit of a directional one so every now and again it just flashes across the screen as you'll see um, but we're gonna we're gonna end that route we're gonna route and um, we're gonna see if we can just retrace our, our last route so back home all right so there you can see the route in all its glory Got a left turn coming up, just there. So I've just taken a right hand turn and now my next queue is not for another K, just over a K and it just said it's going to be a left hand turn or just off to the diagonal.
Nice. Zooming in, passing this massive yellow ribbon here. What is that? It's only the M1. There you go. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that the that the biggest motorway in the UK is uh, is a massive thick vein running through the map. So here we go, 226 meters. You can see there, a little more lane. 200 meters. I'm going to hang a a bit of a left hand, a bend. So that's just this bend here. Not a giveaway or anything, just a simple turn. And we stuck the lights. Federales. The feds have seen me. They've spotted me. I'm filming while I'm riding. He's gonna have a word with me. Come here, sunshine, what are you doing? I'll say, hey, you can't see that till tomorrow, sunshine. Let's resume the ride. Have a look at some pretty pictures. See, it'd be interesting to see what we need to do to set these up. How are you doing? You alright? Um, cyclists trying to get in on the action there. Subscribe to their channels, I don't know who they are. I do like that, that looks like a cool map though, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, these, these indicators are nice, you don't need to necessarily worry too much about this. You can get this out of your peripheral vision, these LED lights. That, um, keep your attention so you know um, you know what's going on to help mates just best mates so you can see when you're not in map view you still get the signals at the bottom hang a left here onto Hall Lane I mean, you can fit a bus down there, like, but you know, why risk it? Why risk it? Wait, so this is telling me to turn left here? Yeah? I didn't think that'd be the fastest route, but okay. Oh no. Oh no, I'm lost now. Where do I go? 600 meters, I'm turning right, so I presume I go straight on here. Over this roundabout, hold your breath. Oosh. Oh, rerouting, I've, I've gone wrong. Now let's see if we can work out where I need to go now then. There you go. The route's turned blue. I wonder if that means it's been rerouted, I don't know. It was quick enough to reroute me though. I know it's only a little detour, but still it was quick enough to uh, to reroute, which was really good. not going to save your life cheap at that speed. So there you have it, that's it in a nutshell. Like I say, it's a first look at this product. It's not a review in any way, shape or form. I just want to try and cram as much as I could in that video. Um, right, what I will say about it, because we've waxed lyrical of, of, of how good it is and, and it is really, really good. However, we can't really go without saying, it can't be that good, surely, Pritch. It, it can't be the best thing since sliced bread, can it, Pritch? Maybe. However, there are two things that I picked up on, three, in fact, three things that I picked up on and I was a bit, <clears throat> I could have easily left them out of the video, put it that way. Number one, the price point. 
Now, to some people, the price isn't going to be an issue. It's going to retail at £299. And um, for me personally, it's more money than I would want to spend on a computer for my, my bike. Now, people are spending, what, seven, eight, nine, ten grand on a bike. So £300 is a drop in the ocean. And depending what you're going to use it for will determine whether you feel that that's a priority um, that you need on your bike. And if you feel that it's a priority, you might spend 20 quid on your shoes, 300 quid on this because you're getting that return on investment on this. I personally think the, the, the Bolt price point is perfect for me. That's exactly what I need. I don't, want, I, I don't have the money to fork out for, for something as, as expensive as this. So the price point personally for me is a sticking point. However, when you look at the market and you look at the rest of the, um, the computers in that price range, well, the market determines the market and um, they've obviously picked a price point where they uh, they feel that this sits really well and, and they're going to sell because the Bolt, the Element, was, was such a huge seller for them. So, you know, Wahoo aren't stupid. They've obviously picked that price point because it, it, it hits various target markets and, um, and that's cool. Secondly, right, this screen here, right? I don't need to see it's Wahoo. I know it's Wahoo. I bought it. So I don't need to see that. So I feel that everything around here could, could disappear. So the LEDs, for instance, could you potentially get rid of those, get rid of the Wahoo, extend the screen so it fits this whole fascia, bigger screen, everybody loves a bigger screen. You've not increased the overall size of the, um, of the, of the roam, but you've given, given the end user even more screen to look at. Um, integrate those LEDs into that screen and for me personally that's that's a better way of doing it however the, again they they must have had this discussion between them and decided that this was the best option maybe it's just a branding thing and when it's in your cockpit they want people to uh, to see that and know that it's a Wahoo other than um, anything else you can't be you can't be mistaken you know it's a Wahoo if you're just happen to uh, happen to glance past and see this however if I'm at a cafe if I park my bike up this thing's coming in with me I'm not leaving this on my bike for people to to to, to look at and, and steal. So um, get rid of that. Get rid of the LEDs. Boom, bigger screen. Now, the last thing I want to mention is something that happened while I was out on my road ride. It, um, it didn't happen all day up until the point of my road ride. Um, there was an update available when I paired it to my phone. However, I didn't want to adjust the firmware or anything like that because it's not mine. And I don't know what the new update is, whether that's not for this one, if, if, if it's for the old element. I don't know. I just didn't want to touch it. Um, but what I did find is when I was um, skipping through the pages, every now and again, it had just freeze. So I press page, wait a couple of seconds, realize it had not gone through as quick as like my bolt, for instance. Then I press it again. And then all of a sudden it catch up with itself. And then I'm two pages. Then I have to go through it all again. Just a minor detail, whether that's um, resolved in the latest update, I don't know. Um, leave a comment below Wahoo or, or anybody that works for them. If you can explain exactly what that is, is it a GPS thing? Was it, was it just me being an idiot? I'm pressing the button right. I mean, it wasn't because they're so tactile. I know when I'm pressing that button, all right? I'm just trying to give you an out. Other than that, quality, quality piece of kit. In terms of weight, it does feel heavier than my Bolt. However, if I'm a racer, uh, I wouldn't be afraid to, to put that on my bike. It wouldn't offend me to put that on my bike, even though it's not got the nice sleek aero look that the Bolt's got. It sits there and it's nice and big and wide and you can see exactly what you need to see while you're racing. So, um, so you can glance down, see those big numbers clear enough to be able to know how hard you're pushing. So as a racer, um, it's going to work just as well as it is for someone who's roaming or adventuring or just simply getting lost on a bike ride. Um, other than that, it's time to pack this up and send it back to Wahoo. Thank you so much to Wahoo for supplying us with this. It's great to be able to um, to give you guys an exclusive on, um, on brand new tech that's coming for, for 2019. And hopefully this is going to be on your bike very soon. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. What are your first impressions on the brand new Wahoo Element Roam?